explosive fighter. Always in good shape. Had some great tough fights against a lot of people. And uh, he just, uh, I am honored to, to have been there ringside to watch his fights. He gave me a lot of thrills in my time. You know, and it's a shame, you know, that he's not with us anymore, but he leaves a legacy, so we can always think of him as that. I only remember what I've read, that he was out by himself camping or running and uh, uh, climbing. Uh, that's all I know of him, but uh, a lot of people, you know, in the background say he was, he was drinking, he was doing a lot of things, but you know what? I always knew him as a great uh, uh, athlete in great condition, so I don't believe all that, that myth bullshit, you know? So, uh, I, I like to say, I, he was, I respect him as a fighter, and, and he gave me a lot of thrills while watching him. And he, like I said, he had a lot of tough fights. You know, Rich Franklin and uh, Tito Ortiz and Kendall Grove and just a lot of guys. I remember a couple of bloody fights too, man, that he had. So he was always explosive fight, always in good shape. And uh, look, he went out there to, to uh, you know, training, that's what he was doing. So it's just a shame he's not here with any anymore. So I hope whoever does a movie or, or, or the right documentary, they bring out the real great fighter and every time. Each generation, the fighters seem to be improving all the time. I mean, take it from you know UFC one to what it is to now. It's so different. You know, always crazy, dominated everybody back in the day. You saw the difference in the fighters. Everybody was just uh, more conditioned, more. Everybody learned the ground. Everybody learned, and then see what happened to them. And, and of course, against Matt Hughes. So today's fighters, I mean, if they learn from the past of the Evan Tannins and, and the Hoist Grace and everything. Just, you know, they'd be a better fighter than, you know, if they watched these great fighters of the past. You know, you gotta realize he, he's fought so, so long ago and, and he's one of the pioneers also. I, 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 I say that I always remember him fighting and, 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 and making it what it is today. So a lot of guys could learn from the uh, Evan Tannins, the great fighter he was. If people watch his fights, go back and watch his fights. I, I, I recently watched, and, I, I, Evan, and Evan was in it, the 100 greatest fights in UFC, in UFC history. So I've been watching that. Like every night I'm home, I watch you know, 20 minutes of it, 30 minutes, a half hour. Evan is there. So, like I said, he made this sport with the other guys what it is today. And it's bigger and bigger. Look, I mean, look at it here. The Expo, it's a fan expo. It's, you know, 100,000 people come over the weekend and watch it. And like it says, Evans Tanner is responsible for the uh, the, uh, the notoriety it is today because he was a great fighter. And if you haven't seen an Evan Tanner fight, go back and watch one. You'll be surprised. The guy was magnificent, unbelievable. Rest in peace, Evan Tanner.